Hello everyone, how are we all doing? My name is Ollie, and we're here with another Bridgemaster video. Let's bring up the screen. Okay, so for those of you, some of you have been struggling to get onto the Bridgemaster hands. So this is the Bridgebase Online homepage. Once you've created an account and logged in, you'll see this. We're going to go to the practice section, then bridge master. And then we can choose a hand to play. If you've, well, if you're coming to some of the lessons that uh, Learn Bridge Online offers, then perhaps one of your teachers can point you at a starting point. Yeah, if you're in one of the newer classes, a beginner class perhaps, we might be looking at level one. Maybe you're at Jack's Wednesday morning lesson. Perhaps level two. Again, they've got about 120 hands. 30, you see on, on the little scroll wheel here, it's um, D16, D17, D18. We've got lots of hands for you to play around with. So have a go. Today, which one do we want to do? 23, 24. I think 26 is a good one. Okay. So, I'll, if you need a moment, pause the video off now. We're going to count winners and losers. Yeah. So, make a plan if you would like. Again, pause the video if you need more time. Not going to rush you with these things. Okay. So for me, it looks like we've got five top heart tricks. Three top diamonds is eight. Ace of clubs is nine. We might need an extra trick from somewhere. So where could provide the extra tricks? Spades, well, they're going to wipe out all our spades with the ace, king, queen of spades. And the f five, the four, the three, and the two of clubs don't look that promising. So to me, it looks like we need our extra trick from diamonds. Yeah. So we've got seven cards. The defense have got six diamonds between them. Yeah. So imagine... At some point when we won the lead, we drew three rounds of trumps and played three rounds of ace, king, queen of diamonds. Hopefully we can imagine that in our heads. Yeah, we'll be left with two hearts, a small diamond, and maybe a spade if they don't cash them immediately. How do we want the diamond suit to break for that little two of diamonds to be a winner? Again, if you need a moment, pause, feel free to pause the video. So, yes, we need the, the diamonds to break three and three. So we need west to have three diamonds and east to have three diamonds. Therefore, when we take our queen, king, and ace of diamonds on three separate rounds, all the defense will, well, both defenders will be out of diamonds. So our little two will be a winner. Nice little length, winner by length. So that happens about 35% of the time, give or take. I think it's 35.3, but you can look up statistics online if you wish. The suit breaking 4-2. If we draw three rounds of trumps and the suit doesn't break 3-3, I think we're off. We just don't have the 10 tricks to try and make our contract. So, there are some other options. We could try for what we call a dummy reversal. Yeah. So, if we can get to the north hand three times, we could try and trump three clubs. Yeah. So, imagine the three club, club roughs. We'd also have the king, queen of hearts and the ace in the north hand. The three natural heart tricks is six. Three top diamonds is nine. And a club is ten. 
So that's an alternative line. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've only got two entries to the dummy with the Queen of Diamonds and the Ace of Hearts. So it seems unlikely we're actually going to be able to rough three clubs in the south hand. Okay. So, as we say, we might be able to win the spade. Well, not win the spade. I'm sorry. We'll play it out. Imagine they cashing three spades. They played a diamond. Quite interesting. So, as lots of bridge players do, we draw some trumps. All going nice and well. And then, then we're going to hope for diamonds 33, because that's the only way we can see we can make our contract. Ah, uh, it doesn't happen. We went off. That's what most people will do instinctively. Yeah, Our uh, diamonds weren't 3-3. We were quite unlucky. Let's remake the plan, but try and give ourselves an extra chance. Okay. As we mentioned, we're making when diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. We can also give ourselves an extra chance. Okay. If the diamonds are 4-2, yeah, like they were when we've just played the hand, but the hand with the doubleton diamond also has a doubleton heart. Yeah. We can draw two rounds of trumps. Take three diamond tricks with a trump still out there. If the diamond suit breaks 3-3, three, three, we'll score our three diamond tricks. We'll know they've broken 3-3. Three, three. We can draw the last trump and claim. If they break 4-2, but the hand with a doubleton diamond also has run out of trumps because we've drawn only two rounds of trumps. Yeah. We can take our three rounds of diamonds. The hand with the short trumps had or the hand with the short diamonds had the short trumps. We can trump our little two of diamonds, trumping our winner. So actually, this ends up adding a little bit, or uh, giving us an extra chance. This line makes when diamonds are 3-3, three, three, or when diamonds are 4-2, when the hand with two diamonds has two hearts. So let's run through the line. They cash three spades. We, we saw this last time. Jack of diamonds. So we'll take our ace, or king. Either one works. We'll draw two rounds of trumps. I'm going to leave a big one in north. We'll play a diamond to the queen. So diamonds are 4-2 or 3-3. Three, three. If we play a diamond now, east doesn't have any more trumps. Which means west has got the remaining trump. And the remaining dark, well, at the moment, two remaining diamonds. But after we take our ace, they'll have the ten of diamonds remaining, or whichever diamond's bigger than the three. We can trump this. Come back to our hand with a club. We've got three master trumps here. Again, quite a difficult hand. If you guys would like a video on some useful bridge statistics, statistics that come up a lot, how eight card fit when you when you and your partner have got an eight card fit in their trumps, how often do the does a three two break happen or a four one break happen? Yeah. Some useful statistical things. If you'd like a video on that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you back here for another bridge master video. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the LearnBridge Online channel to stay up to date with all the, the LearnBridge Online videos. Thank you very much. Bye.